Well, I believe it is time for me to measure my sunflowers and this is going to be my final measurement of them. They're starting to, uh, the heat is starting to make them droop quite a bit and bend down with no recovery in sight for some of them. So my plan is to get up there and measure that very top one. That's going to be my tallest one. And then I'll measure a couple of these big headed ones that are drooping down like right there. Probably cut those off and measure those. Now, the ladder I have chosen is an eight foot ladder. It is seven feet, seven inches to the top platform. All I'm going to do is measure from the top platform to the top of the flower because I've got mulch under it and I don't, uh, I'd have to pull the mulch away. And I'll tell you the main reason in just a second, I pulled the mulch back to where the ladder is actually sitting on the ground, not sitting on top of the mulch. Don't want to cheat. Don't want to be measuring mulch and not flower, not sunflower. So I have pulled the mulch away where I'm sitting on the ground. <clears throat> and it looks like there's another two or three feet, something like that to the top of the flower. Now, if you've been observing at all, you have noticed there's a lot of bees flying around. Those are bumblebees and I don't do bumblebees. So this is going to be a very fast <laughs> operation. I'm not going to stand up there and talk to you for very long. I'm going to measure and get the heck out of there. And you're going to tell me, oh, bumblebees won't hurt you. Well, okay. But if they did, they did. And I just got stung by a little, I uh, guess, a, probably a honeybee the other day on my little pinky and it swole up and I'm just, I don't, do bees that's why i got rid of my honeybees i'm just I, i've always been scared of bees and wasps and stuff not that scared of a snake but i'm scared of a bee of a wasp or a bee so uh and i do swell up a little bit so if a, one of those bumblebees got me in the face i'm gonna look like elephant man in about 30 minutes and i'm not gonna wouldn't want to show you that wouldn't show you that anyway but that's not my desire is to get all swole up from a bumblebee sting. All I'm trying to do is measure and then they can have those things, okay? So that's the one I'm gonna measure. And I'm thinking it's, it's seven, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10. Somebody's already told me theirs were 12 feet. So it looks like I'm beat anyway on that. So uh, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get down quick because of the bumblebees. I, that, I'm just, I don't do heights real well either. And I'm just too dead to old to fall, okay? That might hurt a little bit and I don't need that. So I'm gonna set the camera up, climb up, we're gonna do this. And I don't think I've ever been that close to a bumblebee without screaming like a woman. <laughs> so, so it's 32 inches plus seven feet, seven inches. So let me uh, do some math in my head real quick and come up with the answer. Looks like 10 and a quarter feet. So it'd be 10 feet, uh, four inches, 10 feet, three inches, 10.25 feet. So I'm already beat. Somebody told me they had 12, unless they were lying to me and I don't think they would do that. They've already got 12. So I'm not gonna risk my life. <laughs> to try to find one any taller than that. Now I will uh, cut one, a couple of those big ones that are drooping. I've got, I think the biggest one is, is that one right there, right right there. I'll cut it and we'll measure it next.
So I'm assuming you're measuring just the seed head. And if so, it is six, not quite six and a quarter, let's just say six, probably six and an eighth. And if you're measuring flowers, I mean the little yellow flowers and all that, then see how I can do that. Maybe lay it down like this. That's gonna be 11, 11 and a half inches. But just the seed head was six and a quarter. So that's what I'm gonna count, that's what I'm gonna say, unless somebody tells me, no, you can you can measure those too. I'm gonna give that to my chickens, see if they like that. So that will be the finality of my competition. That is my final answer. Because I just, uh, I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna stand up straight much longer. They're just starting to droop this heat, even though I'm watering every stinking day, this heat is just starting to get to them. So anyway, uh, whatever I just said, 10.25 feet tall and six and a quarter inches diameter on that seed head so there you go that is my uh final answer of the great american sunflower showdown that is my entry these are the american um giant hybrid sunflowers from house tools beautiful beautiful plants beautiful plants and i have just got a nice row of them all of them are at least 10 feet tall that one may not be but all of them are nine to ten feet tall and just really pretty make a nice uh if you want to block some neighbors <laughs> or something uh during the summer that would just be a great way to do it so there's that all right that's my entry we're in the sunflower showdown here and we have made our measurements as far as my channel is concerned, we're done and we're gone.